Hey guys, it's Jay from the GBUK, back with another two more playthrough for you to enjoy. Here we go. Right, so in Falsy, and today we are. Well, we're gonna have a look at the board first. See what's on there, see if there's anything new. Check the items. Right, yeah. So we're gonna have a look at the board. I know what I'm looking for, board, board, board. We're going to look at Shaman's board. Yeah. Right. Okay. Read it. Or when it wants to read. Ah! Glitch! Ah! Oh man, I'm stuck. <laughs> right, here we go. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Ah! Alien Digimon! We have found the UFO. The creature sh showed its body and spoke unknown words. <gasps> it's an alien! <gasps> Will it appear again? Ah! That's right, folks. Now that the final notice of the so-called alien Digimon is up, we we should do the final event. Recruitment time. It's time to have a look and see what this alien is all about. So yeah, we're going to head to, if you haven't guessed already, if you've been watching my playthroughs, you'll know, and if you're just Digimon, if you've played Digimon, um, you'll know as well. Um, we're going to melt... Not panorama, but the spore area. Let's say, back to those manholes, those manhole covers. Ooh, ah, big berry. Ah, they normally get one of them. Don't they like increase weight or something? I think they do. Ah, there you go. Well, that's handy. I'll keep that. That'd be useful. Try trying to get like heavier Digimon, like say uh, Metal Greymon or something like that. So that'd be cool. Now I haven't, I still haven't done the plant thing. Um, it's year two, and it's I think it's day two. So hopefully, as it goes on, it shouldn't be too far. You can you can tell how far I am from day fifteen. Right, let's have a look here then. Hmm. Ah, what's going on? They're everywhere. See a lot more now. Hmm. That could only mean. Hit the apocalypse. Whoa, what's that? Oh man, that sound is... Ugh. I don't know if it's worse than scratching on the chalkboard. Ugh. Are you a Digimon? No, I am John Connor. Wait, what? Are you? Ah, you're firing at us. I didn't do anything, I swear. <laughs> I'm a good guy. Ah. Thank you. Blah blah blah, convince blah blah blah, listen to me blah. I don't understand you. Oh, okay, he does. <laughs> Feedmon! Haha, he can talk. That's right, folks. What are we done here? Yeah, Vaidmon is not a very good Digimon. He's quite rubbish, really. You can get him, but it's like one of those mutational things, certain conditional events. I wouldn't recommend it because it's one of the poor ultimates. It's actually not that good. I've had it before. Anyway, we're back now. Just gonna waste a bit of time training a little bit. But yeah, Vaidmon's not. It's not. It's not. Yeah, it's, it's not very good, really. Quite re Quite weak. Quite rubbish, really. I'd probably say he's the worst. The worst ultimate. Yeah, I, I, I think I would say the worst ultimate, in my opinion. On this game, of course. But then again, some of you may be fans of Aidmon. I have no idea. But, uh, not my fan. Not in my opinion. I mean, Christ's sake, his brain's just hanging out. His brain is his head, he doesn't have any skin, it's just like his brain. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it kinda reminds me a little bit like a firm gym. I don't know why. <laughs> it just does a bit. Uh I don't know. Yeah. No rain plant yet, yeah. It's you know, it's day three, not day two. My apologies. 
So you can tell, you can see how far I am from day 15. Um, I don't want to miss it this time. I want to get it. It's going to take a little while, obviously. I may even speed things up and just be like, yeah, it's day 15. So. And I'm not sure how long my bear will last. It lasts for a fair, fair amount of time. I know he normally does. Um, it might just do on purpose sort of thing. But, um. Hmm, yeah. We want the late guardian this time. That's where we're going for. That's why I wanted to waste a bit of time. Now, you can go in the late sort of the orange, he should be an orange bit in the afternoon. Now sometimes it doesn't work, um, I tried this before and he didn't actually appear at all. He also appears in the daytime. Now there's a specific time, um, I tried different times and sort of more in the daytime he wasn't there. Um, if you see where it is now, um, the yellow dot where the purple bit is, it went, once it goes right on the line between the purple area and the blue area, the light blue area where the sun is, that's when he'll start to appear to begin with. And then, if you stay there, he should be there. Um, so we, we're going to do that. And I figure, by the time we get down there, it should be easily past the time we needed. So, the time this right, because it took me ages to try and um, find the time that he'd be there. Because when I did it the first first time before he was pretty much there so it was a pretty like ah oh, man uh, I mean some of you guys might be more lucky you might have a better job but unfortunately I didn't have a very good job so plus he is not in my opinion he's not one of the easiest easiest fish to catch well he's probably the hardest or one of the hardest compared to the other big fishes right I think they're coming a bit too early let's have a check oh I can use my big red berry, berry. okay you can use um, pretty much any meat, um, um, I'm not sure what meat he doesn't eat, but he, I know he eats normal meat, um, dry meat, probably eats sirloin for sure, I mean, he's just, a, you know, um, and you can use, uh, things like black trout, um, digi anchovy, and he seems to take it, but even if it's got a cross, he should pretty much take it due to the scene. I think. Yeah. You might not be able to tell, but there's like a black shadow that was on the right. Now, I couldn't get this quite right, but I'm just going to turn off the recording and uh, I'll get back to you. Ah, welcome back, guys. What's this? I think I've caught him. Here we go. Here we go. Gotta reel him in. He's a strong one, he is. Now I thought I'd fast forward most of it so you don't have to see it because I took a while trying to catch him. Right, here we go. What's going on? <gasps> Whoa, -ho! that's a big fish. What the? No, it's the Lake Guardian. Ah, it's Seijimon. Good old Seijimon. I liked him in the series. So, you're the one who's been fishing. Any requests? Uh, yeah, I'd like a large Big Mac. Oh, oh, not that like kind of request, sorry. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, now, you can, you can, if you look, you, you can choose to have an item, and it'll be a water bottle, and it'll be to get seed one. And then you've got, teach me a technique, and it'll teach you a uh, water technique. Once you've run out, you, you know, he'll stop telling you to do it. You know, stop giving you items, stop teaching you techniques. Go on to Let's Be Friends, right? And he'll go agree, and he'll give you a flute as proof. And by doing this, he'll take you to the other side, which should be Beetleland, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and we're going to get two recruitments as well. And go to the other side, and we're going to do this right now, so... Just agree, like, yeah, I'll go. Bit like Wowmon, <laughs> jump on his back. I have to admit now, I'm a little disappointed. Seedramon's massive on this. But, uh, like Wowmon, he's a lot bigger than the ones you actually raise, which is a little letdown. But hey, it's Tentamon! And this is the first, this is the only place you see Tentamon. Literally, th this is it. This is the only time, unless you've seen him in tournaments, of course, but I mean, in the actual area. And you can't actually be Tentamon, you can't actually get him, which is a little disappointment, unless you cheat, I suppose, or hack, it's probably a way. But normally I'm afraid you can't, which is a shame. Um, instead, 
they obviously gave you Cunning One, which I think they probably should have replaced Cunning One with Tentamon, considering he was mainly in the main series, and Cunning One was just, he was there, but he wasn't as important, if you know what I mean, he wasn't really one of the Digimon with the partners or whatever they are. Yeah, if you talk to him, you can go to a tournament, but if you're not at the right time, he'll just say, I'm in between tournaments. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Basically. If you go over here and we've got Koagamon, you talk to him. You talk to this one and he will rest you. There's also small training it like things that you can train and stuff. I'm not hundred percent sure what they are, I'm looking at. Yeah, you asked us about bug battles, what you should do now. So you won't make it. And he'll teach you and he said, Do you know where Cunningmon sleeps in native forest? So yeah, if you put Kid Digimon and In-Training Digimon, they do actually sometimes become Kalimon. You have to put them to sleep, of course. And I have tried this and it does work. Not all the time, but sometimes. If you talk to him, he wants to beat Carbotarimon. Choose between options. If you choose this one, you got to get stronger. He'll just say, I see, alright, I'll do that. But then if we actually say there's a sure fire, in other words, yeah, you you know, pretty much whim. If you say, really, then I'll train you. And you say come to see. He'll be like, okay, thanks, I'll do that. And this is good because Koagamon will improve the training area. I mean, not like there'll be like random new gizmos everywhere, and you'll be like, whoa, what's all this stuff? But you'll 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 have better. You should have better chances of getting bonuses, and the bonuses should be increased. Now, if we go over to the right side. And you've probably guessed what's over this side, maybe not. It's Carboterimon! Yeah! So you can talk to this one. And he just talks about the tournament basically and what you win and stuff. Obviously any insect insectoid I should say. Carboterimon, Quagamon, Carnimon, and Hercules Carboterimon. Which I heard is pretty powerful in this game. As far as I know I think it's the golden one. Yeah. I swear there's a Mega Carbotariumon, that was the ultimate. So, what's Hercules Carbotariumon? You know, me thinking there's actual Mega, and for some reason they they put him as an ultimate. I think they did that for a few things on this. Yeah, you talk to him, he says, train in the ground or in the arena. If you choose the arena, and he'll say, I want to go there, I'll train there. And he'll actually go to the green gym with Carl Agamon, and he'll improve it even more. There you go. So yeah, like I say, you can train with these sort of stats and everything. If you talk to him, now he'll teach you a technique, but if your stats aren't high enough, he won't teach you. I don't know if it's just insectoid or if it's just me, but if you do it, he just says to me, yeah, you lack defense power. I think I've tried training the fence and the fence and the fence, and I don't know how many times I've trained it, and he still says the same thing, so I'm not quite sure about that. I've never actually had it happen to me. I'm sure I'm sure it works, but it just it hasn't had it happen to me. Anyway, we're done here. So we'll head back now. And uh yeah, that's it. I'll catch you later.